Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we delve into the mysteries of history and uncover the stories of the past. Today, we're embarking on a journey to explore one of the most iconic figures in human history, Jesus. But have you ever wondered what Jesus really looked like? He is one of the most commonly painted figures in Western art. But what do we really know about his appearance? Join us as we sift through ancient texts, art, and scientific research to uncover the face of a man who has inspired billions. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing tales from Celestial Chronicles. For many years, the predominant depiction of Jesus Christ in Western societies has been as a man with a beard, pale complexion, and long, flowing hair of a light hue, frequently accompanied by blue eyes. However, the Bible does not provide a physical description of Jesus, and the available historical data suggests that his actual appearance was likely quite dissimilar from this traditional portrayal. The Bible offers few clues about Christ's physical appearance. The primary sources of our knowledge about Jesus are the initial four books of the New Testament, namely the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. These texts tell us that Jesus was a Jewish individual, born in Bethlehem and nurtured in Nazareth, located in what was then Galilee, now part of northern Israel, during the first century AD. It is known that Jesus commenced his ministry around the age of 30, as per Luke 3 verse 23, yet the Bible is nearly silent on his physical characteristics, aside from indicating that he was not particularly distinctive in appearance. This is further illustrated during the event of Jesus' apprehension in the Garden of Gethsemane prior to his crucifixion, Matthew 26 verses 47 to 56, where Judas Iscariot had to single out Jesus to the soldiers from among his disciples, suggesting they bore a resemblance to each other. Numerous scholars interpret Revelation 1 verses 14 to 15 as hinting that Jesus may have had darker skin and hair with a texture akin to wool. The passage describes his hair as white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes as a flame of fire, with feet resembling burnished bronze, refined in a furnace. We don't know what Jesus looked like, but if all of the things that we do know about him are true, says Robert Cargill, assistant professor of classics and religious studies at the University of Iowa and editor of Biblical Archaeology Review, he would have looked like a Jewish Galilean. How have depictions of Jesus changed over the centuries? Over the millennia, artistic portrayals of Jesus have evolved significantly. The initial known images of Jesus can be traced back to the mid-3rd century AD, a considerable time after his passing. These images, found within the ancient catacombs of St. Domitilla in Rome, which were uncovered around 400 years ago, present Jesus as the Good Shepherd. In these depictions, he is shown as a youthful, clean-shaven man with short hair, carrying a lamb on his shoulders. In 2018, another early depiction of Jesus was unearthed on the walls of a dilapidated church in southern Israel. Dating back to the 6th century AD, this image is recognized as the oldest depiction of Christ discovered in Israel. It shows Jesus with shorter, curly hair, a style that was prevalent in the eastern regions of the Byzantine Empire, notably in Egypt and the Syria-Palestine area, although this style eventually faded from later Byzantine artwork. The iconic depiction of Jesus with long hair and a beard, which became prevalent from the 4th century onward, was significantly shaped by the artistic styles used for Greek and Roman deities, especially the mighty Greek god Zeus. It was during this era that portrayals of Jesus began to feature him in a flowing robe, often enthroned as seen in the 5th century mosaic at the altar of the Santa Pudenziana Church in Rome, and frequently adorned with a halo encircling his head. Joan Taylor, a professor at King's College London, noted in the Irish Times that the intent behind these depictions was not to present Jesus as merely human, but to communicate theological truths about his identity as Christ, emphasizing his roles as King, Judge, and the Divine Son. Over time, these representations have morphed into the commonly recognized image of Jesus. It's important to note that not every portrayal of Jesus adheres to the Western artistic archetype. Indeed, various cultures globally have illustrated Jesus in a manner that resonates with their own societal norms. As Cargill points out, it's common for societies to depict significant religious figures in a way that reflects their predominant racial features. What research and science can tell us about Jesus? In 2001, Richard Neve, a former medical artist, collaborated with Israeli and British forensic anthropologists and computer experts to craft a depiction of Jesus. They used a 1st century AD Israeli skull, computer technology, and their understanding of the appearance of Jewish people at that time. While it's not claimed to be a precise portrait of Jesus, this reconstruction, depicting a man about 5 feet tall, with darker complexion, dark eyes, and shorter, curly hair, is thought to be more representative than traditional Western art depictions. Joan Taylor, in her 2018 book, What Did Jesus Look Like?, draws on archaeological findings, historical writings, and ancient Egyptian tomb art to suggest that Jesus likely shared the common traits of people in Judea and Egypt back then, 
brown eyes, dark brown to black hair, and olive brown skin. His height was probably around 5 feet 5 inches, 166 centimeters, which was the average height for a man at that time. Cargill concurs that these updated portrayals of Jesus, with potentially darker and cullier hair, darker skin, and dark eyes, are likely more accurate. However, he emphasizes the impossibility of knowing Jesus' exact appearance. He poses the question, what did Jewish Galileans look like 2,000 years ago, and suggests that they likely did not possess blue eyes or blonde hair. As we come to the end of our exploration here at Celestial Chronicles, we're left with images that challenge centuries of artistic tradition. The Jesus of history may have looked quite different from the figure we're familiar with. What do you think Jesus might have really looked like? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's continue the conversation. Remember, history is full of surprises, and each discovery brings us closer to understanding our shared heritage. Until next time, keep looking up and questioning what you know, because the truth is often more fascinating than fiction. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next episode of Celestial Chronicles.